get back here on the program. Uh, before we get into it with all these wonderful people, let me read you a couple of tweets, okay? Here's a tweet. Reject a woman and she'll never let it go. One of the many defects of their kind, also weak arms. That's one tweet. Here's another one. I'd never let a woman kick my ass. If she tried something, I'd be like, hey, get your blank back to the kitchen and make me some pie. Those are two tweets. Now, we know that the world is filled with people who think these sorts of things. We know that we have a word for those people and they're called stupid. However, the reason why this is interesting news for you is those two tweets were posted by a couple of Toronto firefighters. They end up getting fired. You're wondering which fire hall are they from? And I'll say wherever it was, it was 1950, but it wasn't. It was today. I want to get into the idea of social expression, how far you should go. Shall we? <laughs> By the way, we should, we should mention those lines are actually lines from The Office and South Park, so there could be context missing here yeah. when the tweets were put out there. However, the uh, firefighters were bound by this thing called a social media policy, right? Which they, the, their employers found this violated that, so they were done. I, is it a fireable offense? They, uh, to tweet that? Yeah. Or, yeah, if you're, I guess if you're like a fire... Fireman, you have like, but who's gonna really know? Like, I don't know. I don't care. Is that? What? <laughs> I don't think as a woman. As a woman, is uh, it for these firefighters. These are, I, I don't think it's fireable. No. Honestly, no. I think it's it, it. They need sensitivity training. So you can either fire them there and send them to work somewhere else, right. where they have the same mindset and disrespect for women that they're demonstrating in those tweets. But they need like sensitivity training, like. Go work in a women's shelter. Get a bikini wax. Watch Pride and Prejudice. Like, just get, get in touch. Get a bikini wax. Dave, <laughs> you could do with a bikini wax. Right? Have you seen what's below the line? I have seen it. You've seen what's he below needs, the line. You need a Brazilian, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> I trim. Uh... <laughs> Do you, do you I think, think elect like I think electable people in positions that already been elected by people have to monitor themselves a little more closely only because then people won't vote for them again. Right. Like if you if you're a fireman or a policeman just like rescue me or stop the bad guys like what you do in your personal time it's technically your personal time unless you tell me about it and then I know. Like that's the thing just keep it to yourself. Right. So it's, it's not what they said as much as they got caught. Yeah. Which I guess is true for most of life, isn't it? That's like that's dumb dude talk at a at a diner yeah. at three in the morning. Yeah. So like, and when your dude, when your buddy says something like that, there's three other dudes going, "Man, what are you an idiot?" Yeah. And then he goes, "Yeah, you're right." And he just puts his head down. <laughs> <laughs> you did but, that like as, as if you'd done that before. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Do you think that these guys were just so sick and tired of being treated like a piece of meat and objectified the way firefighters have been in those calendars for so long, they were just lashing out? Oh, they're not tired of it. They want more of it. I don't... Who could get tired of being objectified? I never get tired of it. I wish people would objectify me more sexually. Is there a Scott Thompson calendar coming out anytime soon? There is. They know. And they're not complaining. Uh, we're going to find out where the line actually is and where you think you can be sacked for tweeting or Facebooking. That's after this. That's right, my friends. We have a live studio audience, and it's a lot of fun. It's even better, too, because, my friends, it is free. So free. I'd love it if you join us. Go to strombo.com slash tickets to find out how. As you're back here on the panel, we're talking about social media, and sometimes it can cost you your job or worse. Have you just had a complete meltdown online at some point? Yeah, uh, not a meltdown. It's somebody. I left. This was a MySpace around, so I left my laptop on or computer on, yeah. and then my roommate put on. He's like uh, on a status. Hey, um, I'm just want to tell everyone I just came out. Yeah. I'm gay and I'm yeah. and I'm a comedian. Uh, but I didn't check my computer till like the whole night, and then halfway the next day. So I got all these messages like, "Yo, man, congratulations." <laughs> uh, and I'm like, "What?" But then this is the thing: is like after like two hours, I'm like, "Man, I'm getting more popularity <laughs> and feedback." Then, like, five years before that, when I started doing stand-up com comedy, and yeah. I'm like, this is the most popular I've ever been. He did you a favor. He did me a favor, so yeah. I couldn't even get mad at him. But then I couldn't write anything back, like, as a status going, yo, man, somebody, like, it just, then I felt like, am I, like, attacking gates? I just I felt weird, so I left it. You left it? It's there <laughs> so in the MySpace world right now, <laughs> just hanging out. Have you had a moment? No, that's why I don't tweet. Really? Because it would just be the end of my career. I would last a week. <laughs> what would you say? I just can't be, con you know, I, I'm too volatile and I have, I'm too, I have too many mood swings. And I mean, I, even when I give an interview, I just, I say something horrible all the time. <laughs> like I gave one recently where I said, you know, I'm not that crazy about gay marriage. And people went crazy on me. It's not that I don't believe in it and all that, but it doesn't really touch me inside. I can't pretend, like I'm not gonna pretend that it does. Right. Like I mean, 
going, I know it's important, but I was more excited when Brent Carver won the Tony. Do you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> it's just, maybe it's generational, and maybe I'm like, you know, like I, 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 I'm too scarred and I can't really believe it. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'm like, I'm like the old black man that worked on the train going to his son going, stop, don't make Whitey mad. <laughs> keep, keep your mouth shut. Things are good. <laughs> I'm like, don't make straight people angry. We've got enough. Just shut up. Shut up. <laughs> Keep your mouth shut. Because like, like, I mean, it's not that I'm against it. I, I, I feel equal. I, I, I get all that stuff. I know that my, my love isn't. Seriously. Yeah. When, I'm lo when you're loved by me, you, you, it's like a tsunami. So I, I don't literally need, I don't need it, and I get it, but I can't pretend that it's emotional. So if I would be like, my two would be, oh, gay marriage is just some scam that lesbians brought on to gay men, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> That would be my tweet. That would be the end of me. I'm going to have the panel. Dave, by the way, is launching some cool-ass hats. Follow him on Twitter for details, right? Yeah, yeah. you got your own hat game going on. Jen, of course, wants you to watch Canada's Handyman Challenge. We also want you to watch that in the new year. And look for Scott, by the way, and the rest of the kids in the hall at Toronto's uh, Isabel Bader Theatre starting December the 4th, right? That's right. December the 4th, you can check them out. they got new material they're working out, which is always an awesome experience to be a part of. How about a hand for the panel, everybody? We're done. We're done. <laughs> you have more to say?